Hey folks, the Red Scourge here, and welcome back to the channel. So this is a little bit more of a coaching segment or like a concept segment, but I've been using it a lot in my Hawaii dynasty. Yes, I'm running triple option flex bone with Hawaii, believe it or not. Let the pearl clutching commence. Teams don't always run the same offense. Hawaii's not always run the spread or the run and shoot with June Jones. So to me, in my fictional dynasty, it's not the craziest thing. So in the last video I put out, I believe I referred to this video as a coaching thing, quote unquote. Not sure why I didn't re-record that audio, but I released it as is and there it was. So I got this idea when I was watching a video on the Flexbone 101 YouTube channel. Highly recommend it if you like Flexbone option football. Uh, he does a lot of coach breakdown stuff. Um, the guy who operates the channel is coach Alex Carrick, super knowledgeable Flexbone option dude. And um, I will link his channel and his Twitter and the video I was actually watching down in the description. I believe it was called just called Flexbone 101 Formations. And this was only part of it, but he was talking about this formation, uh, Twins Over. And I think he just referred to it as over. I guess it depends on your system, what you may call it. But in the game, it's called Twins Over. And I never really use this that much. It doesn't have a ton in it. If we go in, and obviously this is in college football revamped, but it's pretty limited. You got your usual run plays um, and not a lot of passing. So it's a little bit less versatile than say the, um, you know, the base formation the normal formation here, but I've been using it a lot and really to great effect. So going back to my early days playing NCAA, I used to run Steve Spurrier's fun and gun offense. And I loved running I formation twins. And a lot of times, especially in the older games to the, uh, you know, the side without the wide receivers, don't recall the term for that at the moment. Um, there would be no defenders, and if you get all the blocks lined up, you could get some big run plays, whether it was a power option or a toss over there or even a stretch play, and I just loved that. And in 14, you can do things like that, but it's a little different, especially with college football revamped. For whatever reason, a lot, most of the defenses in this game, at least in the first couple of years, are running 4-2-5, and you get um, some different looks with 425 when it comes to like a twins concept and it kind of screws things up. So, okay, we're gonna spot the ball over on the right hash mark because that's going to make referring to either side a little bit easier. I actually picked the wrong play, so we're gonna go back and pick the correct play. So, twins over against a 4-2-5. I normally want to run to the side with no defenders, with no receivers. So, that would be the field side in this case. So, we get our triple option play. I run normal a lot. We'll just, we'll put it out there. It doesn't really matter. 4-2-5, you're going to have the same issue. So, pick a random play. And we've got your strong safety sitting over there. And so, you can run this. And it's okay. But you're not really getting what you want. You got an extra defender on that side and it looks even worse right now. So what uh, Coach Carrick had talked about what he does with his offense is um, when you call this play, you have an idea that you can just switch it. And I've got my audible set. So I can just switch it to the boundary side because that's gonna be a better side to run to. Now that's not really what you want, but that's going to be a lot more successful. So you're going to run into that time and time again with 4-2-5, with 3-3-5, three, three, you know, some of the more popular defensive formations, at least in revamped. So if you're playing just the base NCAA 14 game, you're not going to have to worry about this as much. There are only a couple teams that run 4-2-5 in all the stock versions of the game, even going back years, you know, 13, NCAA 12. Rice was the one that ran 4-2-5, I think, in 
NCAA 14, TCU might run it. There are not a lot of teams that run 3-3-5 and 4-2-5. But in revamped, like I said, a lot of teams run 4-2-5. It's my favorite defense. It's really versatile, even with uh, subpar athletes. So this is something, if you play revamped like I do, and you run this kind of offense, you're going to run into. And so what I used to do, for whatever reason, I took a long time to adjust. I was like, ah, this looks okay. We're just going to run this. And, you know, it's not ideal. Hopefully you don't always get a loss, but... You know, it, it can be manageable, you know, maybe one yard there. But what Coach Carrick was talking about, essentially, instead of being an idiot like me and just running it into the teeth, it, the defense every time. So for the purposes of the game, you can just map both of these triple option plays to your audibles because you can't flip it with the right stick like you can in wing bone. And I'll show you real briefly at the very end that, but, you know, if you run this, yeah, anything with uh, motion, in this game, you can't just flip with the right stick, which is convenient. So I've got, I use an Xbox controller. I've got the play that's going to the field side, map to the X button here. And I have the play that goes to the boundary to the A button. And um, I just use two of my audible spots there. I haven't found it too limiting. I only audible if the defense gives me a bad look. And with the four right stick directional audibles I have plenty to work with so I run this quite a bit and um, that works for me that is a great counter for something that for some reason I took a long time to actually figure out and I had the aha moment watching coach Carrick's video and so I just thought it was really cool maybe this doesn't really mean anything to you and it's not really relevant and that's also okay, but um, I thought I would bring this just in case. If you're playing against a team that runs primarily 4-3 or 3-4 or even 5-2 or 4-4, none of this applies. You How the game works is you can come out in Flex Bone Twins over and you can, whoops, you can run it to the field side every time they won't have an extra defender but for whatever reason the way the game's programmed the alignment with 335 and 425 kind of messes things up so really quickly we're going to go in and I'll show you the wing bone version of this none of this applies and you know it's I guess kind of nice but um, wing bone twins over has even fewer options um no pun intended, but it has even fewer plays. So, you know, it's going to the boundary side here. You can use the right stick to flip it. Easy peasy. You don't have to have in your audibles. I don't use wing bone as much. I'm not exactly sure why. It Part of it is definitely has less plays. There's so many really great passing concepts out of the normal flex bone. I'm going to wrap it up here. I appreciate you checking out the video. I will be coming shortly in the next couple of days with another varsity high school football video game development update that dropped over the weekend. I believe it was Saturday or Sunday, but I've had kind of a lot going on and haven't had a chance to do that. So that'll be coming next if that's something that's interesting to you, and I will see you next time.